aces, and double faults. It's risk and reward to begin a point in tennis. The latest in the Infosys ATP Beyond the Numbers series analyzes and contrasts both because, after all, an ace and a double fault end the point before it really gets started. The ace king of our sport is 6 foot 11 Croatian Ivo Karlovic, who has smashed 10,624 aces in just 552 matches. His serve is still the weapon it's always been. He's averaging more aces per match in the past 52 weeks than any other. But those three points covered a price, paid for in double faults. Karlovic has averaged four double faults per match in the past 52 weeks. And while that number may seem high to some, it's the ratio between aces and double faults that best explains overall performance in this key strategic area. Karlovic averages 5.8 aces for every double fault he hits, an outstanding return on investment. Double faults will always be part of the game, so understanding their impact directly related to an ace is crucial. In the past 52 weeks, John Isner has averaged fewer aces than Karlovic with 21 per match, but he's also averaged fewer double faults at just 2.1. This all adds up to a very impressive ace to double fault ratio for Isner, hitting 9.9 .9 aces per match for every double fault. ATP next gen star Nick Kyrgios is one of the game's biggest servers, averaging 12.9 aces a match so far in his promising career. To provide perspective, that's a superior career average to Andy Roddick, Greg Ruzedski, and even Pete Sampras, who averaged 10.6 aces per match. Kyrgios currently averages 3.9 aces per double fault, almost the same as former world number one Roger Federer. Federer averages four aces for every double, with 7.6 aces per match and only 1.9 double faults. Another former world number one, Rafael Nadal, averages even fewer double faults at only 1.5 per match but his ace average only reaches 2.9. Big hitting Australian Sam Groth has averaged the most double faults per match over 52 weeks at 5.3. But that total is counterbalanced with an average of 15.4 aces per match, delivering a ratio of 2.9 aces per double fault. Other notable players with a very high ratio of aces to double faults in the past 52 weeks are Bernard Tomic, Baron Cilic, Viktor Troitsky, Kevin Anderson and Milos Raonic. Amongst the elite, the ace to double fault ratio is looking pretty healthy. Current world number one Novak Djokovic averaged 3.1 aces per double fault in the past 52 weeks, while world number two Andy Murray holds an almost identical record. Aces and double faults will always be an integral part of tennis. Getting far more of one than the other is a key component of any winning game plan. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're off to the famous Queen's Club for the Aegon Championships. And we're at the Gary Weber Open in Halle. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, My ATP, powered by Vixlet. And on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.